one of your assistant principals here. I'm here to talk to you about some rules and don't do's and do's for wind time. Students, when these doors are closed, that means there is no entrance or exit from this way. If the doors are closed, there will be someone behind these doors to escort you the other way. If you don't have a pass to go this way, you will not be allowed entrance into this way. You may go around, go out outside in the courtyard, hang out, you may stay in the commons. If you have your agenda signed, you will then be allowed to go through these doors to go back to your teacher's class. Good morning, once again, South Acre family. I'm Mr. Ross, one of your assistant principals here. I'm here with Mr. Hoover. Mr. Hoover, tell me about wind time and how is it beneficial to you? So wind time for me is an opportunity that I can get my students to make them work, uh, retake tests, do test corrections, stuff like that. So also opportunity students can come in here, kind of escape the cafeteria. I have a lot of students that come in here, especially my wrestlers, to just kind of have a safe space and come sit down and eat. Um, again, it's beneficial for students because if they need extra help, if they want to do test corrections, they want to retake tests, this is the time that they can do it. So you mentioned something that says safe space. Tell me, explain a little bit more about that. So just kind of get out of the everyday hustle and bustle of the courtyard and the cafeteria with the so with the rising number of students that came in this year, it's just an opportunity. I think, honestly, we probably have 15, 20 kids that come in here, and there's just an area that they can sit down with their friends and eat. All right. So remember, students, win time is not just to go eat lunch or to come in the classroom and get some work done. It is also a safe space for you. But students, make sure you plan ahead. Get your agenda signed ahead of time so no one is expecting you not to be in the right place at the right time. Thank you. Good morning, South Acre family. I am Mr. Riles again, one of your assistant principals. I'm here with Ms. Clemmer. Ms. Clemmer, tell me what does win time mean to you? Win time is really important. It gives me an opportunity to engage with students, help them with assignments, um, give them an opportunity to remediate anything that they need help with. It's just a really good time to meet with your teachers. So definitely it can be a great tool, but what, what does it look like when it's not used properly? When it's not used properly, you could be struggling in your classes, you could be socializing with your friends instead of you know, spending important time you need working on your uh, schoolwork. So remember students, take full advantage of the win time here at South Bay. Uh, good morning, South Bay family. I am Mr. Ross, one of your assistant principals here, and I'm here with Jack. We're here to talk about win time. Okay, so Jack, tell me about win time. What do you know about win time? Win time is time to either have lunch or go to a class and do work you need to do. Okay, great. So what happens if you want to go to lunch and then go to your class? First, go to the class and get an agenda signed and then go to lunch. There you go. Go, to, go get the agenda signed and then go get your lunch. And then you come back to the teacher, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so what happens when you're done with your class? That, okay, I've done what I wanted to do in this classroom. What can you do at that point? Do you stay? Or can you leave? Um, you stay until the bell rings. There you go. You stay until the bell rings. So remember, students, if you go into win time, you stay until the bell rings, and then at the halftime, you may go back outside or do whatever you would like to do. Thank you. Good morning, South Lake family. Once again, I'm Mr. Riles, one of your assistant principals here, and I'm here with Anton, and we're going to talk a little bit about win time. So Anton, how long does win time last? Around like 55 minutes. 55 minutes, and that gives you time to do what? You have either you go to get lunch, talk to your friends, or you can go to a class and get your work done. Okay, and when you say get your work done, what do you mean by get your work done? Does it mean catch up on some work that you may be falling behind on, or what do you mean by that? You can either catch up, or you can uh, do some missing work. Do some missing work, okay. Thank you, Anton, I appreciate it. Once again, good morning, South Acre family. I'm Mr. Riles, one of your assistant principals here, and I'm here with Dallas. Dallas. It's Dallas. We're going to talk about lunchtime. What do we do during lunchtime if we don't have our ID badge? Well, if you don't have your ID badge, you'll have to go to the back of the line. Okay, and if you need to get a replacement for your badge, what's the cost on that? That's five dollars. Five dollars. So. Just remember, students, we have to wear our badges. We have to have them on when you go into the lunch line. If you don't have it, you'll be have to go to the end of the line. If you need to be replaced, you have to pay five bucks. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Riles, one of your assistant principals. I'm here with Ms. Langford, 
and I'm going to ask her, Ms. Langford, what does wind time mean to you? Wind time for me is a time for students to come and get additional help um, on assignments, even things that they are missing, um, things that they don't understand, and also for a time to get started for me, because I'm part of CTE, on their OSHA certifications or whatever industry certifications that were offered. Okay, so do you feel like wind time is helpful for the students and staff? I do. When properly utilized, it is a, it is a great help because um, in all honesty, we know that a lot of students don't do stuff at home for one reason or the other. So it gives them that opportunity if they take advantage of it. So, so remember students, make sure you take full advantage of the wind time here at South Acre. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get mine again. Got this. Right. 